This is a 1984 Suzuki FA50, the same type of motorbike I used to ride to Long John Silver's, my first job when I was 15 years old. Don't worry, folks, you didn't miss anything so far. All I did was take the cover off of the bottom there, you know, by the cylinder. The spark plug boot was missing, so I replaced it. It has the wrong spark plug in it. I'm going to put a new one in it, and we will go from there. The longer spark plug is the one that came in it. It's the wrong one, I believe. I think it was hitting a piston, maybe, when it was all the way tight. So I just backed it off so it was loose and fired it up. It actually ran a little bit. But I'm going to put the right plug in it, and we'll go from there. Somebody explain this to me. It's on reserve right now. There's no petrol. In the middle, there's petrol. On, no petrol. I don't understand it. I have to look into it. I'm not going to clean the carburetor just yet. I have a feeling about this motorbike. It may not need it, but I'm going to replace all these lines. I don't like this filter crap on here. This is what I was going after right here, this line. I want to replace it and clean the tank out. Pre-mix and two-stroker oil because I'm not sure if the oil pump's working or not. It'll be okay if it's got a little extra oil to start with. Some peds just want to live. And for some reason, I'm feeling like this ped is one of those peds that just wants to fire up and go. I hadn't done much, just changed a couple lines. Let's try it. That was one kick. My goodness. Got a little petrol leak here. That can't be good. Our petrol leak is slowly fixing itself. That's what I like. No need for me to intervene if it's going to fix itself. Woo! She's a smoker and she's a four stroker right now. <coughs> but that'll fix itself too, I hope. We've got a runner. She's not perfect, but she's running, so we need to yard ride this thing. Back here at the rear quadrant of the motor pad, you can see she's been getting oil and a lot of it puking right out of the muffler. I think that'll all clear up after a little while. I don't think it has any transmission fluid in it. Let's check it out and see. Maybe it does. 14 millimeter bolt. Oh yeah. Fluid's very little. Very little. Nice and clean though. Low miles machine. 17 ounces of full synthetic oil. It's 1040. It's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be like 2050. This appears to be a homemade filter somebody made. But I'm going with it. I soaked it in oil and wrung it out, and I think it'll work just fine. If they hadn't have done it, I probably would have anyways. We'll order the right one later. One screw was missing. I have this gold one. Same screw but gold. I like that. Custom, baby. Custom. I do have the rubbers. I took them off because going down the interstate with this on a trailer at 70 miles an hour, I thought I might lose them. And probably would have. 
Went for a quick test run on a motor pad and she's not running right. It's running lean, it's boggy, it's not going full throttle. Things aren't looking good right now. So I'm going to remove the carburetor. We'll take a look inside of that and see if that's the issue. Removing the bowl on a carburetor usually shows you everything you need to know about the condition of the carburetor. I can tell you this bowl has not been off for a very long time. The way it's that stuck. And here she comes. Ah! Oh, holy moly! As I said, it'll tell you a lot. And this is bad. The condition of this carburetor would fit into the absolutely horrifying category. This is one of the worst I've seen for quite some time. What is this? What is this sludge mudge? What is this crap? My goodness. Let me clean it up. We'll slap it back together and we'll give it another try. I can't believe I was running this thing up and down the road. Quite the pile of crud out of this bowl. Unfortunately, after cleaning that nasty carburetor, we're still having fueling issues, which is absolutely unbelievable after seeing the condition of that thing. Let's take a look at the reed valves just to see if there's something weird or funky going on inside of there. I got the ped hung from the ceiling with straps because I am going to check out the reed valves. My thoughts are one of those valves is stuck shut, probably gummed up or something like that, and that's what's causing our fuel delivery issue. The reason for the front of the motorbike being hung from the ceiling is so that I can lower this engine. I'm going to take the bolt out, drop it a little bit so I can get the screws out of the reed valve block. I thought I was onto something, but everything looks good. I clean the parts up. I'm going to reassemble and put it back on. I've determined it has to be this main jet is too small. And it's my understanding that this is probably not a common issue on motor pads, but I just believe this has to be the issue right here. I don't have any special drill bits for jets, so I just use these tip cleaners. And I find the size that fits through the jet. And then I go up one size on this tip cleaner and ream the hole out. So that's what I'm going to do now. Reaming out the jet fixed this motor ped. We will go on a test run down the road with this thing and I'll show you how she performs. Before we go, I wanted to show you a couple of things. One thing is this. I have a catch can here. The reason for that is that I mix the oil 50 to 1 and put it in the gas tank. And then this is the oil pump. I just want to make sure it was working so it's been running all this time and there's oil in there so the pump works. I'm going to hook it back up and we should be able to run straight gas and straight oil in the tanks where they belong. The other thing you may wonder about is why I have this line like this. It's in a circle because if I went from here straight down, the line was pinching. When you sit on the seat, the engine comes up and it was putting a kink in the line. So I just made it a circle like that and it seems to work well. Time now to see what this joker is made of. One kick. Good acceleration. Oof, look at that. 
15 miles an hour, really just 12. A little bouncy. We only have rear brakes, the front ones are completely out. That's okay. We'll deal with that later. She's feeling very peppy, like she wants to rip, which is also a good thing. Woo, look at all the bugs on my thing. I didn't know, realize that. We're ripping. There's 25, 26. We're on a slight downhill grade. Ah, going up a hill now. Look at the buzzards. She's still pulling nicely. I'm listening for four stroking, is what they call it, when she gets too much fuel, and I'm not hearing it. Oh, a little bump. I would like to hear it four stroke a little bit, just so I know it's getting plenty of fuel. I will most likely just check the spark plug when I get back to make sure it looks the right color that it's getting enough fuel. I do have a gauge, I don't know, maybe I'll hook it up to it, heat gauge that is, for the head. She's smooth as silk, I'm loving it. This is a, this is really a nice pad right here. I hope she's leaving a cloud of smoke behind me. That way I know the oil pump's working. 30 miles an hour right there. Nearly 31. The only time I hear it four stroking is down a big hill like that. So I don't know what that means. Good acceleration. She's running just beautifully, I believe. If you were to ask me, she's running just the same way she did when it was brand new. Has to be, because it's running really good. Look, 26 almost. That's all you're gonna get out of this ped. You might get 28, you might get 30. This is flat ground. Boy, she's running nice. Boy, oh boy, she's running nice. Mm. I had to let off. We're going around a corner here. I had to let out the gasoline. Nice corner. Ah, she handles like a dream. Like it's on rails. When you go on around the corner, it just bites in and she just bites down and clinches the road. I believe we have a beautiful stock moped. Uh-oh. I better say no ped for the specific folks out there that will get upset and angry with me if I say the wrong thing. Do a little turnabout here. You know what I'm gonna do for you guys right now? You know what I wanna do for you? Just for my audience, watch this. I'm gonna do a donut. Look at that, a donut. <laughs> I feel dizzy. I'm gonna keep going. You know what, I'm gonna keep going, another donut. Oh, you guys are gonna get sick. Oh, I'm feeling queasy. That's enough, no more please. No more donuts, Benny. Oh, I'm so dizzy. Oh, I'm so dizzy. I'm gonna have to stop. Nah, we'll keep going, but I am dizzy. Rear brakes squeak. I don't think they're wore out. I think they're just glazed over. Front brakes, as I said, completely gone. I think I'm gonna keep this ped for a while. I enjoy it, I like it. I'm loving it actually, so I may fix it up some more. We'll do brakes, fender needs to be fixed up. Look at it go, look at that. I hear a little four stroke in there. It's always when it's downhill. I'm sure the wizard knows what the deal is with that. If I hadn't mentioned before, it only had like 400 and some miles when I first got it. It's got 519 right now. 30, look, I want you guys to see this. I think we hit 32 and that's outrageously, ridiculously fast on a ped like this. I mean, that's uncontrollably ignorant, stupid fast on a ped like this. So I'm not always gonna do that for you guys. I just did it that one time. Let me get back to the shop and I will show you another ped we're working on. Perhaps some of you would like to stay tuned and we'll do another repair on another ped. Uh-oh. <laughs> Look at that. Yow! Almost 35. Almost 35 mile per hour on this ped. Mmm, sweet. One other thing I think I'll do before I shut this show down We'll look at the spark plug together and see what you guys think. See you at the shop. Here's our plug after that rip. And if it was a four stroke, 
I would say it's absolutely perfect. It being a two stroke, I'd kind of like to see it a little bit darker. So I'm gonna put my gauge on there just to make sure it's not overheating. If you're a pet lover, then stay tuned and subscribe because this is going to be my next project, this QT50. They are my all time favorite motorpeds. As always, thanks for allowing me to invade your space. I am the one and only infamous Kentucky Yankee without a doubt. We'll see you next time.